what's going on everybody welcome back to another episode of the roundup as always I'm David Cantu and today we're talking virtual reality and the tick so let's get started for PlayStation 4 owners the future of gaming is right around the corner well in October to be exact pre-orders went live on Tuesday for the PlayStation VR bundle which includes the headset move controllers the camera and the PlayStation VR world's game at a price point of $4.99 Oh, don't click off the video just yet to put in your order. The pre-orders for the bundles are completely sold out. I know, it's a bummer. But there may be some good news for people that missed out or for people that already have the other accessories. PlayStation announced that due to feedback, which means a whole load of people complained, that they'll be opening pre-orders for a standalone headset on March 29th at 7 a.m. Pacific time at a price point of $3.99. So there you go, I'm giving you a heads up. Don't say I didn't warn you. I mean, I'm not really too sure how I feel about VR just yet, but this is also coming from somebody that hasn't even really tried them out, so I really can't give my full opinion on it, to be honest. Unless PlayStation wants to send me one, just saying. The games that are included in PlayStation VR Worlds do look pretty damn cool, so that in itself might have me convinced. My only fear is that I'm going to end up like this. Today, I don't want to do that. Well, then what do you want to do? I don't know. Something. Oh, God, I hope not. While everybody's busy talking about Batman v Superman this week, I want to talk about another hero. Do you all remember The Tick? I knew you would. I mean, how could you forget the funniest cartoon and most underrated live-action superhero show ever? Well, it looks like The Tick is getting a new live-action show over at Amazon. Well, it's a pilot, okay? But it's something. Unfortunately for us, Patrick Warburton will not be reprising his role as the blue hero from the previous incarnation. I thought Warburton was a perfect actor to play The Tick, so it does suck that he's not coming back. But his replacement might be just as good. They've cast Peter Serafinowicz in the main role, and I think that is a great choice. He has fantastic comedic timing, and he's a very underrated actor. You may have seen some of his work in Shaun of the Dead, Guardians of the Galaxy, and most recently, Spy. If you're still on the fence about the project, you might be happy to know that Warburton is coming on as the executive producer, so at least there'll be a little bit of input coming from him. We should all cross our fingers and hope that this does well, so that way we can hear the Tick's battle cry of... Once again, are you sold on PlayStation VR? What bundle are you pre-ordering? What about The Tick? Are you excited to see that his live action show is coming back? Even if it is to Amazon? Let me know in the comments below. Click on this VR Trooper or this blue guy over here to subscribe to this channel. Give us a thumbs up while you're there. And if you can't, share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching another episode of The Roundup. We'll catch you next time.